Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back to each and every single one of you. So today, guys, I just want to apologize. First of all, you know, I've not done a video for like, what, 20 days? And that's kind of like, there's a few reasons which, number one, I split up with my girlfriend and then we got back together like after about three or four days, you know, we've kind of kissed made up kind of thing, you know. So that was kind of a bit stressful, not going to lie. I've had tonsillitis for the first time in my life, and oh my god, I lost about a stone in like about seven days. I ended up having to go to the doctors because it wasn't going away. I thought I was going to have to have my tonsils out, but you know, they just gave me some antibiotics, kind of got rid of it. So yeah, here we are. Not really much gaming-related news to really talk about, apart from obviously the title of this video. I'm having a lot of fun playing Destiny, so I put, thought I'd put some, you know, gameplay of me, you know, playing Destiny 2 in the background. By no means, I don't really know what I'm doing on this game, but nonetheless, you know, I'm enjoying learning the mechanics all over again. I didn't play Destiny 1, you know, back in the day, but obviously Destiny is a lot more complicated than what it once was. One of the things with Destiny, you know, it's kind of got a huge learning curve. Um, the whole leveling system. I kind of don't like that how grindy this game is if I'm going to nitpick, but, you know, nonetheless, it's got absolutely, you know, shit, shed loads of content. You know, it's a free-to-play video game, essentially, and then obviously you buy the the kind of add-ons which have a lot of content. It's not like, you know, the latest Overwatch game where it's like 25 quid for a skin, which, you know, you can't even earn via, you know, playing the game pretty much. I think most of the stuff on Destiny you can actually earn just by playing the game. I know there's shortcuts, things like that. But anyway, I'm by no means an expert on Destiny. But what I am an expert on is Modern Warfare Call of Duty. That's kind of my kind of niche on this YouTube platform. And my niche is kind of saying what a lot of people don't want to say, you know, when it comes to content creation. Because you don't want to be labeled as a hate channel. Oh, you just make videos because you suck at the game and you're just miserable and you're just a hater. Well, the problem I've got with, you know, Call of Duty and the kind of community, it's not really the game because the game is straight up trash. You know, I've made several videos about Call of Duty sucks. You know, I make my yearly video, Call of Duty, you know, Modern Warfare 2 sucks. I've already said, you know, what I've needed to say in the beta. You know, anybody who was dumb enough to think the beta was actually a beta, the beta was a demo. We've been proved that, you know, on day one. They've made minor tweaks. Wow, big deal. Has anything major changed? Um, no, because the beta, let's be real here. Let's be real. You know, we're all real on my channel. The beta was, you know, a marketing campaign to get people to actually play the game. And none of the, you know, concerns have been, you know, even listened to. They've actually come out right and said that they're not going to listen to what we're saying anyway. You know, we all had, you know, concerns regarding, you know, the Modern Warfare 2 minimap, red dots, you know, silences, all that kind of stuff. You know, the footstep audio, nobody like that. You know, the game heavily supports camping. There's bad spawns, poor visibility. You can't tell if they're your team or their team. You know, there's no factions in the game. It's just blue team and fucking red team. You know, come on. You know... It's, it's basic stuff, you know, there's disbanding lobbies, nobody likes that because, you know, it's heavily, you know, factored by the skill-based matchmaking, which, again, you know, I know that's a heavy debate on this one way or the other. My philosophy has always been in life in general that if you want to get good at something, you know, you've just got to continue, you know, playing something to get better at it. And eventually, when you get better, you're going to be playing against those, you know, poorer players. You know, it's like in life, if you go to university... Ultimately, you know, majority of the time, you can actually be qualified to do, you know, a job later on in life. Yeah, you might not be qualified until you're 30, but once you are 30, you know, you're going to be earning 100 grand a year. Or alternatively, you could just leave school, get in a job and get money straight away. You know, to get anywhere in life, you've got to train, you've got to... You've got to have, you know, motivation. But in video games, they don't really want to do that anymore. They kind of, you know, because of the monetization models they all use now, they just basically want a new player to actually think they're good at a video game. You know, so they'll spend money. And that's ultimately why skill-based matchmaking's in the game. Skill-based matchmaking is the biggest... Well, apart from the cheats, the hackers, all that kind of stuff. And that's, again, you know, not just Modern Warfare 2. Any competitive shooting now, you know, with all the cross-play and everything like that. All the suspicious clips you see from these big YouTubers, big streamers. Do I really want to be playing that game when I don't trust that everybody's playing fairly? I'm not saying everybody's a cheat, but, you know, if somebody has a really good game now, the first thing that comes into my mind... Is, is that player cheating? Are they hacking? Years ago, it used to be, you know, back when Scump, you know, and COD was, you know, a lot more popular than what it was. I used to think, wow, that person is an absolutely fantastic player. And I don't think that anymore now. I think, hmm, they're cheating. You know, because that's kind of how I've been conditioned to kind of think now because of all these, you know, websites which promote cheating, like engine owning. You know, Activision says they're going to go after him. 
and nothing ever happens to it. You know, there's big streamers like Nadia and a few others who get accused of, you know, cheating and they go to LAN events and then they just absolutely shit at a LAN event. But yet when they sat in the bedroom streaming, they're, you know, like a next level God player. Come on, you know, you, 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 you've you just got to use a bit of common sense, you know. Are they cheating? Of course they're cheating. You know, Activision knows they're cheating. Does Activision care? No, because it's promoting their game. It's making their game look fun. When in fact, you know, you're, you're ultimately, you know, because of the skill-based matchmaking system, you are playing a video game which is actually wanting you to get a 1KD. You know, that is ultimately what it's doing. That's the whole point of the video game. It wants you to have a 1KD so, you know, you have the same boring gameplay experience all the time because obviously they want the newer players to have, you know, a 1KD. But in my opinion, you know, the better you get at the game, you should be able to pub stomp people. You know, you've put years of dedication into learning the game. And ultimately, it's the kind of Call of Duty life cycle. Everybody's a noob when they first start. And then they get an av they become an average player just by, you know, taking time and dedication and then they become a good player. You know, it's the Call of Duty noob life cycle. You know, back in Black Ops 2, they actually used to make fun of our noobs going, get ready, guys, you know, the Christmas noobs. And now it's complete opposite. It's like, oh, no, because of our monetization system, you know, we've, we've got to make sure that everybody has a fun or boring time, as I call it. Because the thing is, right, I'm not a great player. I'm just an average player. So it's not like I'm a good player and, you know, I'm like thinking, oh, no, skill-based matchmaking is bad because I want to pub stomp everybody. No, it's not about that. Skill-based matchmaking is the biggest problem in gaming for me because it gives you the same boring gameplay experience every single time you play the game. You know, you're against the same type of player every single time. You can't mess around with loadouts. You can't do a fun loadout. You can't run around trying to knife people. You've got to play the sweatiest loadout possible because if you don't play sweaty, you're going to get absolutely, you know, destroyed. And ultimately, you can't have fun. You've got the same gameplay loop all the time. Obviously, Call of Duty, it's kind of become popular because of the skill streak, score streak system. You can't even get skill streaks or score streaks anymore because, number one, they're pathetic anyway. They don't even do anything, let's be real. And then, number two, because you're playing against people all of the same skill set. And that's why, really, I couldn't give a shit about Modern Warfare 2. I've not bought the game. I'm not going to buy the game. I know there's a lot of people out there who are who have fucking bought the game after playing the beta and they're continuing to moan about how bad the game is. You know, you knew the game was going to be bad when you actually play the game and the actual menu system is like you're on fucking Netflix. You know what I mean? You know the game is going to be bad. You know the game is being made by these kind of people who want a society based on, oh, look, let's just cuddle everybody. Let you come and play our game. It's going to be fine. We'll look after you and we'll put you against other bad players to make you feel better about yourself. And while any game's doing that, ultimately, it's going to die. And again, guys, you know, why do you think, you know, Warzone 2 isn't coming out until November? Because they know damn right that if they brought Warzone 2 out at the same time as Modern Warfare, they wouldn't even get ugly any sales. Love you all. Subscribe. Bye-bye.